As public education dollars are getting stretched further and further, there are needs in the school that are not being met. As part of the foundation's mission, we've created a dream book for the Woodland Hills School District. Teachers and principals throughout the district are invited to share what programs, teaching innovations, and supplies they simply cannot get because there isn't money in the budget. Once approved, their dream gets added to the book and is then shared with our network of friends and donors who choose which dreams they would like to fund. Since 2016, 24 dreams have been fulfilled, totaling more than $24,000. One of the dreams that one of the teachers had that was funded uh, by the foundation was a sensory room. So that provides um, some of our students with special needs at Wilkins with the opportunity to um, have a room dedicated to addressing their sensory needs. So it, it really is a, an important, critical part of the special education component that they have there because it gives the students an outlet and it, it is a, a space that due to the donations that were received in this particular teacher's grant being funded really allowed for her to to meet even more needs of her students um, which again is one of those things that as educators we always want to do we want to make sure that we're we're reaching the needs of all of our students and um, providing them with that whatever we can and I think that that's something that maybe community members and businesses could get behind. Um, just knowing that they were part of making a teacher's dream come true, which their dream always focuses on student need. And so to be able to have that opportunity to be part of the district and our school community um, by just being able to, to help fund those different dreams, they get to be part of making somebody's dreams come true and helping the teachers really just um, bring those extra special things to their students. So one of the other things that the foundation did for us was in our mini grant to have enough books to use with our entire classroom, we purchased classroom libraries of Elephant and Piggy. So we still have them downstairs, you know, cutely arranged and each one says, you know, thank you to the Woodland Hills Academic Foundation. And we use them every year for everything. I, we've already started using Elephant and Piggy, and we don't even know if we can use the mini grant this year. We're still just kind of, we don't know how to use it because of everything that's going on. But it does, the kids start talking about them like they're their friends. So it's, it's a very sweet, um, a sweet way to get them to learn how to read without knowing that they're learning how to read. So. And they refer back to things. Just as a matter of fact, today I said something of being a reader, and one of my little girls said, "Oh, like an elephant and piggy, elephant and piggy book that said you're a reader." And I said, "Yes, you're a reader." So they make those connections. And we've actually even made a connection with the publisher um, because we've done this so much that they, in addition to what the foundation is able to do, which is fund the event, the publisher is able to give us some of the extras that we can give to the kids. And I feel like the next time I go to New York, I'm gonna hang out with my friend at the publishing company because we are in touch at least once a year. Um, and she gives us any little extras, you know, tattoos and stickers that we can do. So they're also very supportive and that's pretty lucky. I think it's important to know that we have a unique school district. We have, we have all socioeconomic uh, variables in our community and I think there's a lot of people with the means and the resources to contribute and to step up to the plate and make our school district one to be proud of and uh, I challenge people with the means to, uh, to consider con contributing and uh, enjoy the results of their contributions. I think if, if, if everybody stepped up to the plate that has the means and wherewithal we could really be a school district to be proud of, and I challenge you to participate. If you're interested in funding a dream and helping bring one of our teachers' innovative ideas to life, you can visit www.woodlandhillsfoundation.com to learn more.